Uh, we Jetpack Cube is a deep pin and the AI company. Uh, it means that we are uh, basically we are manufacturer about the device for the AI and the deep pin servers and the special uh, special style the technical some issues embedded in some uh, racks smart racks we call the nano deep pin center. So uh, we thinking about the every time thinking about the deep pin mm -hmm. deep pin issues. Yeah, so Kernel Labs is basically a, a Web3 venture-backed startup. So we raised venture capital in 2023 and we closed a pre-seed and we recently closed a seed round in multiple millions and we'll announce that in probably August. Mm -hmm. um, we're a project basically you know, at the core level, we call it execution sharding, uh, but then there's another layer called trustworthy AI. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea being is that you can execute any function on any blockchain from one chain to any chain or web two, or you can instrument any AI agent, mm -hmm. but due to regulations and due to the sort of frameworks like the ISO 42001, you need to be able to explain why the model, where the data came from, whether the models uh, itself is operating correctly, the inference, the output, and the whole what they call provenance and lineage is correct, meaning do you really know you can trust the AI model or not? And this is where our partnership working uh, with Alan is fundamental to creating the best integrated solution. Okay, uh, we met uh, just a few months uh, ago and uh, but uh, when I met with uh, Tahir, uh, he is 40 over years uh, same field IT engineer. So even he he just working for the MS DOS and the Windows 1.0, mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, that is uh, similar with me. Uh, I'm a 30 years over uh, technical part uh, and the engineers and developers. So uh, we we can easy to communicate with each other and understand each other. So uh, we figure out that so our product and the, our uh, new project is com combined and melt down with each other mm -hmm. and one into one box. Then we can make the, some very good uh, some. Uh, synergy path uh, with, with together. So so I just hosting and uh, inviting to the, this wonderful event mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, discussed both more, more deeply about our future business. Yeah, so I, I guess to add to that is, I mean, between us, we have over 40 years of experience in technology. You know, I started coding in 1979 and I'm ex-Microsoft for the lead for operating systems and program, programming languages. So I have a very deep understanding of software, as you explained, you know, help bring out Windows 1. So I'm very old. Uh, Alan obviously is very technical mm -hmm. and we met in Da Nang and we literally click because we're both engineers mm -hmm. we're both technical people <laughs> deep understanding the, you know the same thinking you know absolutely you know the, the we sort of think about logic and not just the heart we, we, we two plus two equals four that's us um what, what's lovely about the deep in solution that alan has is is that these nano portable data centers uh the way they're equipped with everything it's just one box it's literally just plug it in somewhere and it operates that's amazing mm -hmm. now imagine you can run ai data centers with low friction but so you need to be able to trust it and this is how the two companies really come together and with all technology and deep in, remember the user experience the devx is the important and that's why it's got to be a very simple solution uh, today i i'm a, become a speaker in the in this event mm -hmm. uh, most uh, big issue is a uh, uh, so many deep in products already deploying whole, whole of the world mm -hmm. but uh, uh, there is some uh, shocking shocking news and uh, uh, information is uh, half of our devices uh, turn off in this time it is coming from the non-managed device just the deployment it has become a garbage or trash and uh, spend the resources. So reason why every deep pin and the AI must uh, control the, by the security and the ID system. It is coming from the some uh, fingerprint like this control system. So uh, we are uh, corner labs have a uh, corners for that and the systems. So uh, I really wish to invite that system into the breakdown into the our our uh, node and the corners and the control the every each another deep pins. 
So uh, I really wish to uh, build uh, some very new project with together and uh, announce to the overseas for the make the standard. Yeah, as Alan said, uh, the goal really is now to create something that becomes a de facto standard. You know, why should the world have to find all the pieces to integrate them when really you have two amazing, you know, I'd like to think engineers who've built all the tech and we can just make it one simple box. Mm -hmm. So from my perspective, I guess the way to do it is if you look at the Korean market specifically and as I said, the first trip I made here was for Korea Blockchain Week and what's interesting, I actually got to meet uh, Vitalik Buterin mm -hmm. as far as that first event and I could see from that first meeting it's very early days and now I'm back sort of one year later and I can see the markets growing and the exposure and sort of the understanding is growing. So I think having the partnership where we're bringing something that's a very unique solution at a global level, not just a local level, yes. means that we can launch something as a partnership between, you could say, a non-Korean organization and a Korean organization and take it to the world. And that could be a first in the world of Deepin. Yes, so uh, Connor Labs have uh, some very big uh, influence per to the some Arabic side and the African side, India side, mm -hmm. and the United States also. So uh, our company is uh, located in the Korea, uh, and uh, 30 years over have uh, some business in the Korea same till IT pill. So I understand about the Korea situation and the political and the regulation many things. So uh, it, this new government have uh, some many plan for the some crypto and the AI side. So uh, if, if possible. Then I, I wish to report about the, some deep in standard or the, to the government side. The both both uh, two two strategic uh, meltdown into the one document. Then maybe it can make uh, good works. <laughs> well, I mean, if you think of. Uh, you know, Deepin is a word that's come out of Web3 and blockchain, but IoT, smart cities, all of this is already digital twins, everybody knows, pretty much in the industry. The only real difference between sort of smart cities and IoT and uh, edge computing and fog computing is Deepin brings about this idea of tokenization. And really, I think Alan can speak more to it because they are really the core at the protocol itself. So maybe you want to talk about the Deepin protocol. Okay, so uh, we build a very new protocol for the DPIN we call the NDP nano DPIN protocol so it can wrap the another DPIN project so uh, we build uh, that protocol per the management identification and the fingerprint checking and the orchestration almost of functionality is uh, already embedded in the uh, Kono Labs product so we can integrate easily uh, together then we can make the function per the that kind of some very key point so uh, we are become a killer killer application per the DPIMS. Mm -hmm. yeah okay uh, thank you so much okay thank you